you caught me getting some lipstick on. You know, when you drink a lot of coffee and tea, a lot of lipstick gets here. Welcome to Come Home, I'm Jen Mallon. Today is going to be wonderful. I have two very special friends, Michael and Stacy McIntyre, and we're gonna talk about their testimony, about next level experience, and most importantly, Echoes of Creation, a wonderful conference and movement that they have started for artists, for influencers. And so you're gonna wanna hear this. And if you have people in your life, or if it's you, if you're that right brain and that creative one, listen, God has a special plan for you in this season. So let's go to my friend, the McIntyres. Well, as I told you, we have a great, dynamic, anointed, fun, absolutely brilliant and gorgeous couple and that is michael and stacy mcintyre it's so great Hello. to have you guys Hi. You, jen. we love coming home to jen see you jen <laughs> michael i do have a quick beef to pick with you uh -oh. you okay. introduced me to crumble cookies oh yeah and i think God. i have gained 15 pounds <laughs> as a result so i love you for it but i also am Hate like you for it. <laughs> i never knew they existed until i you know i know well they're made from heaven and i think they're a little bit of angel uh sugar sprinkled in there and they're just so good wow well Okay, so that that's that's the only you know odd I have in my heart against you <laughs> and the bad. Yeah. yeah, you know the word. We have to bring it to our brother, and I just Amen. want you. So now we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay, so Nick, the last time you came, Michael, which it's been far too long, yes. you we talked about your amazing book, Next Level Experience. I want to talk about that, but first, uh, it it so touched me the way that you honored your wife when you were here and you just lit up when you talked about her as though, you know, she, you just met her yesterday <laughs> and there's just the sparkle in your eye and you promoted her the whole time. And so finally I get to <laughs> meet you. I Thank know. You. Yes, right? Jen, it's so amazing. And I mean, I've heard, I feel like I know you. We've heard so much about you. Well, every time we complimented him, he goes, oh, but you haven't met my wife. Oh, <laughs> you, I'm nothing. You need to have her, you know. That's right. He's amazing. And I've been trying to get her down there, Jim, but she's a little camera shy. You know? That's all right. She's I not know. after today. She's going to be set free. And that's, that's right. Like, that's right. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Okay, so tell us for those that that didn't get to watch last time, and I do encourage you if you did not see Michael's show, please go to ctnonline.com, go to the on demand section for Come Home, and you can scroll down. You'll find Michael McIntyre's show. Uh, grab his book. Uh, it is an incredible book, but watch that show. You can also get the CTN app and it's free. You download that, and all the on demand shows are there. You can binge watch it uh, when you're doing something or you're multitasking. And, and so you'll be able to really see that show and appreciate the next level experience. But for those who don't have time to do that right this moment, mm -hmm. share about your testimony, share about your love story, share about some of the cool things that God has done leading you up to this point. Wow. Gosh, uh, it's a so lot. Nice. It's yeah. a, that's a long well, we've been story. Married, we've been married 38 years. Mm -hmm. We have three grown daughters, yes. uh, three grandchildren, mm -hmm. and uh, a, a multi-poo dog who is just a huge pain. Uh, but we Two love wonderful son-in-love. Two wonderful son-in-loves, yes. And we're praying for our third one to yes. come in. So, yeah, uh, Stacy and I, uh, you know, we met back in 1980. 83 and uh back in the stone age and uh yeah we kind of fell in love and i was in just got out of the air force and say she was working at an insurance company and we met there and uh a year later we were engaged well the first second i met him i knew that was my husband oh, i oh. i saw him across the hallway and i was with a friend and and i said who is that and I had a boyfriend, he had a girlfriend, but I just knew that was my husband. Right. When I looked in his eyes, I'm like, oh, that's it. Wow. 
Yeah. Yeah. That, so maybe, that doesn't always happen, but oh, no, that it, is so you, you didn't have, you, you got to, that just cut to the chase, right? You didn't have yes. to go through questioning God. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's right. He, he just showed me right away. And yeah. so we dated a year and we got engaged six month engagement and then got married. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was 24. Stacy was 21. Is yes. that right? Yes. Yeah. And, wow. uh, we were married and four years later had our first child. Then we hit 22 months later, our next child. And then six years later, our third child, uh, we got in the insurance business. We are very successful in the insurance business. We did really well. Uh, we grew a company from zero to $3 billion in sales. And we had offices in 40 States. Uh, I, I didn't give my life until 2007 to Jesus until 2007. Yeah. Uh, Stacy's always been a believer. She mm -hmm. grew up Baptist and I grew up Catholic and didn't believe any of it. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't that I was an evil doer. I just didn't, I just didn't, but I, I did believe that there was a, uh, a creative intelligence out there that we just didn't walk out of the water with, you know, hands and legs out from an amoeba. So I did know that, but I didn't know it was holy. Mm -hmm. I, I, I joke a lot that, um, on my road to Damascus, I got knocked off by Bentley and had a huge Holy spirit moment and gave my life to Jesus in 2007. And, radically changed our lives and uh, sold our insurance company in 2007, started in uh, doing business coaching, life coaching, and started some kind of ministry business yes. type deals, which was really a big switch for us. And Stacy always, she always knew that I would be coming into to the Royal priesthood, but I didn't. But anyways, when we did, it was a big deal. And from there, we've written two I books. Th well, I think also that our uh, childhood traumas kind of matched up with each other. Yeah. And um, I think God really put us together to heal. Um, we we kind of grew together through the years and healed together. And once he came to Christ, that was just beautiful. I mean, we still went to church every Sunday. Mm -hmm. And in my heart, I just knew he was coming. I, I never held him in a place that he wasn't there. So I always knew he was there with me and I was just holding the line for him. It's true. And, and with that, you know, like I said, we did go to church and I did like the rituals of that. I did. Uh, and so then when we came in, uh, you know, we were with the, in an evan evangelical church, yes. which was really good here in Dallas watermark, which was great. It was a nice six year run. And then Stacy said, we need more. Oh. I said, how much more can we ask for? We got this beautiful church. We, <laughs> got, loved it. we got Todd. He's just like me. You know, we got everybody looks like us. This is great. We <laughs> like this, you know, and it's nice. It's, it was really nice. And she said, no, we're not being fed enough. And I didn't wow. understand that. And so that's a woman thing that's a woman. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because I, I would have still been there, Jen. I would have, you know, and she said, no, we got to get the Holy Spirit. I said, all right. And so we went to this little church called Upper Room uh, and it was small at the time. And I, we got re I got wrecked in the Holy Spirit, got baptized in the Holy Spirit. And, and so that really radically changed everything, which was really cool. I found the cares, cares, uh, charisma or cares mania world <laughs> to be quite interesting and very not boring. And so I, I kind of like that. It was real. It was authentic. Some of it was offensive, but that's the way Jesus was too. And so I, I really kind of, they sometimes found you offensive. Oh, yeah. all the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it was a match made. Yes. I'm gonna tell you. That's awesome. And you know, you, you, you had said that Stacy was your intercessor and she was your prayer warrior yeah. and that, you know, she stood for 100%. you until you came into the kingdom. And yeah. I just think that'll encourage someone watching today. Stand for your spouse. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Stacy, how long did you stand for him and believe God? Oh, goodness. I mean, ever since from the time we got married, I mean, we I married him in the Catholic Church, which, you know, I wasn't Catholic, but um, I just I just was like he he told me that he had gone to a lock in when he was in sixth grade. <laughs> and I was holding that as this is going to happen. Well, God, Baptist locks in and all, God, all night deal. And, yes. You know, they lure you in with you know cute women and, and bowling alley and hot dogs. Right. <laughs> many, <laughs> many of those. <laughs> Yes, 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 I hosted them too. Yes. So. Right. Yes. Right. So I knew that he was going to be there. And um, 
Yeah, it was, it, it was an interesting ride. And I had a lot of people around me that I prayed with constantly. And, and we were just praying him. And even people that worked for him in the office, we would anoint his chair. We would anoint everything. And we would tell him, you're coming in. They were covert. And yes. I guess they were covert. And just not everybody was. Yeah, but, not everybody was. Yeah. And then my brother was also instrumental That's right. in that. My brother was praying too. And so it was a combination of a lot of things. But Stacy has always had the faith, which was good. And I think she secretly had the girls give their life to you, which I didn't care. I wasn't like, you know, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't that way. I didn't care. I just didn't. I always looked at everybody that I came across that was born again, Christian. It was not real to me because it was, there, there was always an agenda behind it. And so it took me a long time to get, you know, over that, which I did. But when I get, when I did come into the kingdom, I really got around some really true Christian some awesome. men, some really real, authentic, transparent, you know, bloody and muddy Christian men. Awesome. And that was really good because it was first time the, the transparency. Yeah. Well, I think that part of that, you know, your discipleship process basically laid the foundation for your passion for the next level experience. Yeah, yes. 100%. Yeah, you yeah. saw the value and how there was a piece missing in the body of Christ and with your background and your experience from military to business, to wealth building, to all of it, you, God gave you guys this strategy. So I do want to, I want to jump to echoes of creation in a minute, yeah. because that is really the main reason we're talking today, because that's yeah. been fabulous. And we want to throw the nets out and, and invite the creatives yeah. And the influencers and God loves creatives. He loves the right brain and the greatest harvest, that billion soul harvest. I believe that a majority of it's going to come from the creatives. 100%. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Before we jump there, I know we're all like, let's talk about, it. let's talk about it. That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> Tell us about the next level experience. Cause that's something you is your baby. You very yeah. much are committed to this. You do it several times a year yeah. and yes. it's it's been transformational i mean the people that have gone they're like it's indescribable it yeah. is just you have to go and experience for yourself yeah yeah do you want yeah. to share about it you go, you go. Oh he's so good at it <laughs> well it's we both are it, yeah uh really a stacy's brainchild it really is she's the wow. one that creative and she came up with this and we are doing we were doing a lot of trainings experiential trainings in our, in business, our business in the secular world and uh which was very successful which helped us grow our company to three billion dollars in sales and because of the extensive training that we did with our sales reps and our staff but when i gave my life to jesus you know and we sold the mm -hmm. company and we started hanging out with the church and started hanging out with people and we thought man there are some people that wanted coaching some churches that wanted coaching some pastors so we said, let's, let's, let's adapt. Let's take what we learned out there in the secular world. Let's bring the Holy spirit into yes. it yeah. and modify a few things, which we did. And that's how it came about. And what we like to tell people, it's not a conference. Okay. You don't come and go as you please. Yeah. Uh, you do have breaks. You go to lunch, you go to dinner, but it's not coming in and, you know, listen. It's to a commitment. Kid, it's kid, a, yeah. It's yes. a two and a half day commitment. The cool thing about it is it's Holy spirit. And yeah. Every one of them are different, Jen, but it's really, you get to, you get to see the Holy Spirit in the front row, watch yeah. it in real time. And what I love is that it's a safe place for people to get real, maybe for the first time. Yeah. Uh, we find that a lot of Christians haven't had that opportunity, opportunity yeah. to really share and be in that real raw place. Yeah. There's a lot of being nice and performance. and performance around a lot of Christians that we had seen. Yeah. And so what we're noticing now is people come in here, they get free and they're able to move on with what God has for them. Mm -hmm. You know, he has so much more for them than what they're allowing and what they're living. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, you guys are so, you know, you, you help people get unstuck. You mm -hmm. help them get unclogged. You <laughs> help them move out of being stagnant and you yeah. just, you help those rivers of living water flow up. Amen. And Amen. So the kind. key Thank point you. you said is, is a safe place. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. And I think that's really important. You know, I think 
there's a lot of people that have been hurt by the church, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and, you know, and look, you know, we sometimes put the church on too big of a pedestal, you know, the pastor, the worship, they're men, they're women, they have issues, just like all of us have issues and, uh, they make mistakes too. Yeah. And so, you know, we like to come in there and we, what we say is, look, you give us two and a half days, doesn't cost you any money up front. It doesn't, we took that out of the, out of the equation because we didn't want the enemy to say, oh, this is a money grab. Mm -hmm. yeah. And at the end of the deal, if you want to pay it forward, depending on your resources, whatever you want to do, great. If not, that's great too. Yeah. And what we found, Jen, is that not only do people pay it forward, but they continue to come back and play. Yeah. They want to facilitate. And it's it's uh, it's probably one of the most intense things people get to do. Yeah. And it's, it's designed to get people out of their comfort zone. Yes. We believe that nothing grows in your comfort zone. Yeah. You yeah. know, you got you got to get out of that comfort zone. You got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you want to go out there. And look, if you're if you're if you believe what the Bible said, you're going to be persecuted. You're going to be mocked. And uh, if you believe that your mansion is going to get bigger, then it, you should have an ultimate be bold in Christ commitment in your life and don't take it the easy route. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so and and your book is called the Next Level Experience. Next, Next level, level life. life. Yeah, next level next life. life. That's right. That's yeah. right. Okay. Yes, so, yes. and I encourage everyone get the next level life because Thank it's you. a testimonial book. And then mm -hmm. it'll kind of probably give you even more of a desire to go to the next level experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. So through this, through one act of obedience to the next act of obedience, to the next being out of your comfort zone, to the yes. next being willing to birth, you know, a giant, you know, <laughs> an elephant, uh, yeah. God started speaking to you about echoes of creation yes. mm -hmm. and you're doing your first echoes of creation. It's, mm -hmm. it's coming up. That's why this show is so important because there's still a few spots left yes. and opportunities. But so tell us about the vision. Tell us about what's going to happen. Tell us how, who should be there. Well, we feel that everybody should be there really because everybody is creative. Yes. God made you creative. He made everyone creative. In his own so, image. Yes. And so he wants us to create and he wants us to be part of creative. So if you're not a singer, if you're not a writer, he still wants you there. He wants you to be part of this so that we can all join in so that we get revival going. That's the way we see this. This is this is a, a, a vehicle to revival yeah. because if people are not writing the books that God wants them to write or right. singing the songs or making the movies, then you are not going to get to that revival. And so what God, he, he showed me a couple of years ago, he showed me um, revolution of love that he wanted to birth um, through this. And so Echoes of Creation is out of revolution of love and revolution of love is Jesus's love for us. Mm -hmm. And he wants a revolution to start like no other, like he had on the earth when he was here. Mm -hmm. And so he wants everyone to get excited and go with what he, so he is a birthing of, of revolution of love. Yeah. And I think what, one of the things that I love about this is that, you know, Jesus his heart is the conduit to all of us, right? And that's, you know, he, you know, he, he didn't want to take the cup, but he took the cup because he loved us. Yeah. And his father said, you're going to take this cup. And with, and with that, that, that love that he gave us is, it, it's still, it's still echoes from creation, right? Mm -hmm. It's still there. And look, uh, one of the guys who's coming, his name's Mike Manny, and he's a Grammy award winning a uh, songwriter for Elton, uh, Eric Clapton, Elton John, uh, all the all the big ones, J Lo. He said he got wrecked by the Holy Spirit when he was playing his mother's piano. He was twelve years old, oh. and all of a sudden the Holy Spirit hit him, what? and he fell back. And he said, he said, all I saw was these clouds opening up, and I could see all the music of all the time that God had created. And he said, right then is when he knew that this is where he wanted to. And it was from him. It, it was, was from, from God. Him. It was from God. And he knew. And that's how he became. And he's, and he's going to be there. And he's going to talk about how he, you know, did stuff for Carlos Santana. And who's that one guy, Kim, that uh, he played for on his Kim, Kim Clement. Kim, he, Kim Clement. Anyways, that's <laughs> that stuff is really cool for us. And I think you know, we've got movie producers that did God's Not Dead and, and Unplanned and Nefarious. Then we've got 
Grammy songwriters. But I think one of the things too that I want to make sure everybody knows is that if you're an entrepreneur, you must be creative. Okay. Oh. And and I, you know, I'm an entrepreneur, you're an entrepreneur, Jen. And sometimes we gotta get creative. How am I gonna make payroll this week? Yeah. <laughs> right. It's a and different type it's a of different creativity. type of creative, but you do. And so, you know, I had 30 years in, in entrepreneurship and pulled rabbits out of my hat constantly uh until i hit a certain peak and so we're going to also have a thing for entrepreneurs and how they can get creative quite often we get people to come to us and said man i got one hundred fifty thousand dollars in debt i don't know how to do this i don't know how to do that and what happens is satan the enemy starts blocking their creativity starts blocking oh, their vision because of fear right because of fear right. and so they start worshiping the wrong god and we come in and say hey let's move this piece over here let's put this person over here let's put their aces in their places and within a month things are turned around and it was easy for us because we're coming in from an outside place and seeing this and so we want to help uh creative entrepreneurs as well so not only is it a place where you can pitch your movie pitch your screen title or your screenwriting or your song or even sing a song in front of the, some of this talent but you can also tell us about your idea, your entrepreneur idea, or yes. your business that's going. We're going to have breakout rooms for everybody, and uh, it's going to be kind of cool. We've got Alyssa Smith coming in to do the worship. Victory we Boyd. we got Victory Boyd coming Carrie in. Lloyd. Carrie Lloyd, who's a HarperCollins uh, author from yeah. Bethel. She's a pastor out in Bethel. So God has put all these people with us. Look, we, you know, Sandy McGuire. You know Sandy McGuire. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. She she's like wow. She's like the best agent in the history of agents. I mean, she she's is. awesome. She's like she's helped us fill this pre present, and she's out there getting more people in. So God's put these people in our life for a reason. You, Jen, put you in our yes. life for a reason, Aww. and and we love that, and we want to honor that. And look, you know, uh, this is going to be uh, two and a half days. We're going to show our the the other thing we did was Stacy and I jumped out of our comfort zone and started yes. a TV series. And you it's called the, it's called the Accelerator. I'll yes. send you the trailer. Maybe you can yeah. put that out there. But it's really that cool. has to do with us working with business That's people right. and the creativity that goes into that. Right. Because I think that people don't understand how creative you need to be as an entrepreneur. Yeah. And so you need to really think outside of the box. And so we work with people. We have an MBA program that we work with people three days. And then we choose people out of that that will show. be on our show, TV The show. Accelerator. Yeah. So, so we're going to show that at the event. And then uh, we've already got six episodes done and uh, we're, we've got a new uh, streaming service coming out called Believe Plus. Oh. And yes, and uh, I'm encouraging everybody to go to their uh, website and join Believe Plus yes. and go to uh, their Instagram is called Join Believe. And it's all it's all about Judeo-Christian morals. And it's going to be a place to where you can let your kids watch. You can bring oh. in, a, there's going to be great movies. Uh and so that's, you know, and, and the opening, the opening thing says, welcome home. Oh, <laughs> and it's going to be really awesome. cool. So that's, that's coming out yes. here in January. And so the accelerator is going to be a big part of that. And so they're going to be here at the echoes of creation. Mm -hmm. So we want people to come and bring their ideas. Network. Yeah. There'll be a lot of, can't, a lot of chances for all kinds of things. Yeah. And it's two days. We even serve you breakfast. We got coffee, uh, <laughs> Texas style. We're at the Marriott Hotel. It's a beautiful hotel. Out and, in Westlake. Uh, okay. Yes. And if somebody wants to come in from out of town, we got a super eight. Uh, the rooms are normally two ninety eight a night. We got it down to one nineteen a night. Wow. So if they want to come in, fly in the DFW airport. It's the easiest. But you can't come in the Southwest and it's 20 minute drive from there. So this yes. will be something that no one's ever done before. We haven't heard of this. Yeah. And so God really just showed us this and we're really excited about we it. We are. Well, you guys are amazing. You're such good stewards. And the, the word is clear that when you steward things properly, then the Lord will go take the one from the person who didn't, and it'll give it to the person that stewarded the 10. And, and Stacy, Mike, that's what you're doing. 100%. Thank you. The other thing is you guys are crazy generous and that's the heart of God. So I just want to share um, echoes of creation dot life. You, you all have been seeing it. So Mike and Stacy, thank yes. you yes. for what you are offering the viewers I, your heart is just such a heart of gold. So of course, 
you have to charge for this conference. You've got, you know, you 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 guys have seen the flyer popping up of all the speakers that are coming. But for those that are watching, for my audience, Jen, yes. at Come Home, there is a special discount code. Yes. And listen, time is of the essence. There's times that God says, don't plan it six weeks in advance. Don't plan it six months in advance. Just go. <laughs> Just go. Yes. Go. Let's Get go. And go. Yeah. And so I encourage you, if if any of this has touched you, ask Holy Spirit and then just yeah. do it. There is a major discount code today. And that discount code can buy you your ticket. Yes. Or, or pay for your hotel room. And yeah. so thank you for offering that. It's um you you use the promo code Jen Mallon and you just go to echoesofcreation.life. You'll see the price, but the discount code, the Jen Mallon discount code gives you two hundred dollars off. Thank That's you. Right. No one's ever done this for thank my uh, oh, well, we're at, well, listen, it's our Jen, pleasure. We are excited about your audience. We love your tribe. We love how you stand out there. Listen, we we love the way you bring Jesus out there to the marketplace, to individuals and in excellence. And we we want your tribe to be here. And uh, yeah, we're excited about it. We I, it was we just want everyone to take advantage of that. Yeah, and we and we love we love what you're doing. So yes, come on aboard. Uh, you save some money, and uh, yeah, and it's it, fun. It's gonna be good. I promise you. We've got we've got some good people. Nastia Lukin's gonna be there too. She's uh the four time or five time Olympic gold, gold, gold medalist. medalist. She's wow. gonna do it opening. So. That's going to be kind of cool. Yeah. And so it's going to be a really, really diverse. cool, diverse group. Mm -hmm. It really is. And so, yeah, come well, on you in. Guys, you guys are a class act. Everything you do is with the spirit of quality and excellence. It's amazing. We only have 30 seconds left. So will you pray us out? Yes. Um, because I know yes. you guys love to pray. <laughs> Thank you. Want me to do it. Yes. yes. <laughs> Father God, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, we love you. Thank you for Jen Mail. And thank you for her tribe, God. Thank you. I, I want to bless everybody who's watching this right now, God, and uh, whether they're watching it, uh, you know, for the first time or the fifth time, God, I ask for supernatural favor Thank over their you. family, over their money, over their health, God. Uh, we ask them to be bold in Christ, ask them to be the uh, e e evangelist for you, Lord. And uh, we love you, God. And we just ask for these people to be blessed supernaturally. John 10, 10, the enemy came to kill, steal and destroy, but Jesus came to give us life abundant. And God, give these people life abundant. Yes, and we pray creativity yes. of yes. each and every person. Yes. Yeshua. We pray your yes. love, God, that your yes. love just breaks Come everyone on. out in, yes, into Jesus. what you want them to do, God. Yes, we Jesus. love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we said amen. 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 So guys, look, echoesofcreation.life, we're calling entrepreneurs, we're calling influencers, we're calling creative, we're calling uh, inspiration, soon to be millionaires, yes. come out, and so that you can be positioned for yes. what God needs his end time army to do. Amen. Be trained thank by you. the best. So that thank perfect. you. Yay. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Stacey. Thank I you, thank Jen. You. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Bye.